I watched a segment, and uh, this leadership stuff has got to be coming from Othello, right? Yeah. Is there anyone else who would say something like that? Not that I know of, no. Well, my source confirmed it's coming from Othello. Okay, so who is your, so your source again? <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, it, it, let me take a guess. Is it like Alan from accounting or it something? It is not Alan from accounting, and please stop asking because I'm not going to tell you. You're going to slip up. I'm so bored right now. Can we please talk about next steps? I have another meeting in five. <laughs> Go ahead, please. All right, as unfair as these leadership rumors are, we need to prove them false. Yeah, we're in the position where the burden of proof falls on you. Now, yeah. it's not fair, but it is our reality. Okay, so I gotta do something in the public. Well, you, you gotta do something that people can't question, okay? If you wanna win this fight on the court, you need to be able to point to something quantifiable that you did out there, something leadery. Makes Otherwise, sense. it's your word versus Nate's anonymous source. All right, I got some ideas. Really? Well, let's hear them. Could be source first. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna happen. All right then, so you have to wait to find out during my press conference. Hey, you say you got this? I believe you. I got this. <laughs> say less. Hey. What's up? It's time to talk about Hammond. Oh, let's go, man. I've been dying to get on those courts. I know. So talk to me. What's the plan? What are we doing? So you've got to keep winning over the fans. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job with that so far, but we just can't go to Hammond right now with the level of support you have. It wouldn't be good from a PR perspective. I mean, we don't want a bunch of Twitter videos of people clowning you at the court. Yeah, no, that does not sound good at all. Yeah, no. <laughs> so that's one thing. But the bigger issue is Kenny Cruz. The godfather of Hammond Park. You know it. He is street ball in the city. And more importantly, he is its toughest gatekeeper. You can't hoop at Hammond without his say so. Wait, wait, so even me being an NBA player is not enough to get his say so? That's correct. That's crazy. <laughs> you have to prove it in the streets, in his streets. Okay, so just keep balling up on the courts. Yeah, but not just any courts. The city has a feeder system. Moss Point, Robert Miles Park, and Dreamer Dream Park. Park yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kenny scouts at those three courts for talent, and if you impress him, you can play at Hammond. And if you really impress him, you can get your own squad together, play at the Classic. That's tough. You know all about the Classic. Of course I know all about the Classic, Anyone who's Come ever on. been in the city wants to play in the Classic. Mm -hmm. And Shep is the reigning champ. So that reminds me, you should just start scouting for your own talent. Mm. They run fours at the Classic, so you're gonna need three teammates. Okay, so I ball out all over the city, keep mm -hmm. winning over the fans, and eventually pull that rug from under Shep on his home court. Yeah. Mm. You think you can handle that? Of course I can handle it. I okay. got this. I guess we'll see about that, won't we? I'm 
early in the season, but we're already seeing some teams fall short of expectations. Grant, what do these teams need to do to get back on track? Well, first of all, they just, they have to relax. They can't panic. It's still early in the season. But, of course, it's on the leaders of each team to set the tone. They need to make sure everyone is locked in and on the same page. We've seen Ingram's leg help him out offensively, but that time on the defensive end, swarming. Jackson with a screen on Ingram. Here's Marshall. So it'll be two free throws. Almost feels like we didn't get to see the real Pelicans last year with a superstar out all season, Brent. Well, PA, I might tell you that you did. I mean, Coach Green did a heck of a job in his first year bringing these guys together. And look, if I was on the sidelines and I was a guy who could propel this team moving forward, I would want to be a part of that kind of success. Now here's Williamson, shoots over Jackson, and the basket by Williamson. Well, if the defense is going to give up this kind of shot, they're challenging you to prove you can make that, and, and Zion showing you can. And MP with a basket on the assist by Moran. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. On offense, here are the Pelicans. Jones, the pass to Valanchunas. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He basically can count on as a double-double guy, even in limited minutes. He really does a great job of controlling the paint. The one thing you know you'll always get with Valanchunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. Well, that's how to protect the rim without fouling. Force him into an awkward release and a bit of an adjustment on the layup. Now here's McCollum, a top-tier scorer, averaging a little under 25 points a contest. The shot by Ingram, no good. And with his size and reach, Valanchunas is a monster on the boards, Greg. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. Here's Ingram, an important score for this team, averaging around 25 and a half a game. Here's McCollum, up and in on the layup. Lots of ways that CJ can burn you right there. Super effective on the inside. The Grizzlies have gone one of four to begin this one. MP, the pass to Adams. Adams with a screen on McCollum. Here's Marshall, pass to Adams. Outside for Moran. Sends it home from three-point land. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. For New Orleans, they've gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Here's Williamson. Shoots over Jackson. Williamson, no good. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. MP finds Adams. 
There's Jackson with the three. And again, it's Memphis with a three. That jumper is pure. Jackson with great touch for a big man. Set him up, let him knock him down. Pass to Williamson. Over Jackson. Williamson misses. Memphis has gone two for three from outside the arc. Moran, pass to MP. Adams with a screen on Ingram. Here's Marshall. Outside for Moran. Jackson, the screen. Oh, there's the alley! Stolen by Valanciunas. They're running. Jumps up. Here's Jones. And he's going to the line for two. We hear this a lot about the Grizzlies, but it bears repeating. There's probably no team in the NBA that has more reason for optimism than Memphis. Memphis trailing here. Jackson outside. And MP throws it down. Adding to his game over time. When Jackson spots his open teammates like this, the offense runs much smoother. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Pass to Williamson. And here's McCollum. Over Morant. And the shot is good off the backboard. You know, I think about all the optimism surrounding the Grizzlies. The rest of the NBA has been put on notice. The NBA, and they should be. This team should be a contender for years to come. If the front office makes the right moves, which they have in the last few years, they could be hanging up some banners very soon. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Williamson with a screen on Moran. McCullum shot is off for Memphis. They've gone four of nine in this one so far. Pass to Adams. Back to MP. Jackson with a screen on McCullum. MP, the pass to Jackson. And so he draws the foul. Memphis has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. And the Jacksons, just the latest father-son NBA duo. Lots of great ones there, Greg. So true, B.A. The Curry family might be the best ever. The Berries, including our own colleague, Brent. The Thompsons with Clay in the league currently. Just some incredible NBA families to admire. Zion and Valanciunas playing up front. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Alvarado in at the point guard position. And that's right as we get into the second quarter. Here's Marshall. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. The teardrop. Rebounded by Ingram. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Pass to Alvarado. Williamson right side. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Adams has got his fourth rebound in this one. Clark with the screen. MP, the pass to Adams. Kicks it out to MP. Again, MP missing. Well, New Orleans shooting only 29% in this one. Not great. Pass to Alvarado. Now Ingram. Now Williamson. Clark covers. Here's Alvarado. The three is up. Four on the clock. Jones grabs the board. And here's MP. It's stolen by Ingram. Second quarter of basketball. Just over a minute and a half played so far. Offensive board. Valanchunas. And he buries his first look. Well, the effort and the power that Valanchunas can play with puts him in great position to grab rebounds like that. MP against Ingram. Here's Marshall. It's picked off. Pass to Ingram. Let's go with a three. Knocks it down from distance. Ingram's got five points. Yeah, the fluid shooting motion of Ingram makes him a real threat to knock down these corner triples. 
Adams with a screen on Ingram. Here's Marshall. And that one hits the back iron. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Adams a screen. MP with it. And it's Ingram picking him up. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. The Pelicans making a switch. Checked in. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. For Memphis, they've gone 0 for 4 in the second quarter. Clark with a screen on Ingram. Here's Marshall to the middle. Clark, the pass to MP. On the wing, Jones. Six to shoot. Here's Marshall. And when you're trying to slow down a top score, often the game plan is to get physical. Grant, you would know better than anybody. What's it like in the trenches here? Well, B.A., it's interesting. I mean, it can wear on you. It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. MP is screen on Jones. Back to MP. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. Here's Jones. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. CJ McCollum has been leading. The Grizzlies, 45. Lots of exciting talent in this rookie class. We're going to have a good time watching these guys fight for that top spot. Absolutely. The race should be very... And keeping things moving, what a tremendous first half performance. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Well, you know, C.J. McCollum has been really making an impact here, guys. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. On the court for Memphis. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. John Moran is out there with MP, and it's Williams in at the small forward position. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Jackson finds MP. Jackson with a screen on Ingram. Back to Jackson. Outside for Moran. MP against Ingram. Stolen by Valanciunas. And they're running. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. No good, off the front rim. And the Grizzlies shooting 47% in this one, looking efficient. You think about New Orleans and, and the atmosphere that is around this city and the kind of vibrancy to it. It can be challenging for professional athletes here. McCullum on the wing, pounded by Moran. And the bucket is good. McCullum's got 22. I feel like the team right now is accepting the fact that C.J. McCollum is on fire, so they're looking for him on possessions in the half court. Ingram against MP. And there's a whistle. He'll head. Second personal foul. 
tradition down here and so much great food, B.A. I mean, right now I'm thinking about a beignet. How about you and me after the game? We go grab something, yeah? Oh, that sounds good, man. Maybe a little crawfish etouffee. Uh, I left my wallet. Back. And he can't get the first one. And he sinks the second. Now McCullum, 22 points for him. He can't get that one to fall. Now Memphis takes it the other way. The third quarter has not started well, just one of four. Williams misses. The Pelicans have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Williamson against Williams. McCullum, a pass to Jones. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. Well, if you go to Lehigh, of course, you're going to make smart plays. McCollum good at sensing when his man was going to be wide open. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in the live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Allie. Thanks. And a slam dunk by Ingram. And that's big time from... And Memphis also making a switch. Tillman's checked in for Jackson. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Morant, the pass to MP. Good, and the setup by Morant. Morant's got his fourth assist in this one. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back into gear. That's three of four from the field. Pass to Ingram. Over MP. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. Ingram's got 21 points in the game. Brandon Ingram, a constant threat on the offensive end. A little bit of work right there in the mid-range. That shot is off. You love to see guys challenge one another like that. Advantage to the defense that oh, oh, sir. Oh, that's what you tune wow. in for right there. Wow. Yeah, looks like Zion's got the stage all to himself there, just tearing down the rim. And few players are as electric as Zion. The speed and power he plays with, something you see once every few decades. 20 feet out. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Alvarado. Williamson with it. Covered by MP. And Williamson throws it down. Again, just watching Zion's leaping ability. Gets over the defense and easily finds the rim. And the blend of speed and power, as you said, Grant, Zion is unmatched. He's a rhino with a jetpack. And on defense, when you see him come, don't want to get in his way. The explosiveness in the paint is really what makes him team. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for the Pelicans. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. And I feel like another part of tonight's game has been the hustle. The hustle points, getting up and down, getting second chances, getting transition opportunities. They've been fantastic in that area. Pass to Nance. Here's Alvarado. Now here's Ingram. Shot clock at six. Here's Nance. And Nance with the slam. Oh, yeah. When Larry Nance Jr. sees a chance to throw it down, he'll throw down. Down low. Oh, and the dunk by MP. The B.A., when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Pass to Alvarado. Outside Ingram. 
soft touch off the glass. Ingram's got 23 points. And yeah, right now, Brandon Ingram is just taking command of the entire game. Marshall with the bucket. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Ingram, the pass to Valanciunas. And the dunk by Valanciunas. And Ingram. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Outside for Moran. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. New Orleans has gone 7 for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Zion and Valanchunas playing up front. Brandon Ingram out there with C.J. McCollum. And it's Nance in at the small forward position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And that sequence was all Moran. Excellent work turning his defense into offense. We're about two minutes into the fourth now. Here's McCollum. Oh, and Jackson with the block. McCollum against MP. Jackson with a screen on McCollum. Let's it fly. And it's Memphis with another. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Banked it in off the glass. McCollum's got four points this quarter. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Adams with a screen on Ingram. Here's Marshall. Pass to Adams. Outside Moran. Puts it up from the high post. Again, the Grizzlies. Good for two more. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Valanchunas sets a screen for three. McCullum, the rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number eight now. MP, the pass to Murray. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. Well, many people, including Paul George, have compared Ja to a young D. Rose. Yet each explosive athlete's at the one position. Both Ja and Rose leading their teams at a young age as well. Jones, he's checked in for New Orleans. Here's McCollum. Oh, and Jackson with the block. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Jackson with a screen on Ingram. Marshall, pass to Jackson. Outside, Williams. Off target from outside. New Orleans has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. To the paint. Here's Ingram. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. McCollum's got four assists now tonight. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Jones with the ball. Guarded now by Williams. With the fadeaway. And the shot goes in. And the Pelicans lead by 18. Memphis has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Inside, here's Marshall. And he got the whistle on the way. Nine for a pair. It's going to be on Brandon Ingram. Man, good whistle there. And he can't hit the second. The Pelicans have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Off target from the wing. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. New Orleans is shooting about 56% in this one. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Here's MP, plenty of space. It's wide right, hits off the rim. New Orleans is shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. 
Now here's Williamson. Pass to McCullum. Six on the shot clock. Good chance here for Ingram. And the Pelicans miss again. For Memphis, they've gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. MP, the pass to Adams. Stolen by Valanciunas. Ingram against MP. Let's it fly from 18. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got four points now in the quarter. Clearing oh, opportunity. And the Grizzlies shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. And too long on the shot. The Pelicans have gotten 8 of 16 attempted shots to go here in the fourth. Williamson outside. Back to McCullum. Pass to Ingram. This one for three. Second chance effort. And Valanchunas puts it in. And the Pelicans lead by 21. And punishing inside Valanchunas. Getting room to do damage. Here's Marshall. Kicks it out to Jackson. Back to MP. Morant with it. And he's going for the oop here. And the dunk by Jackson. An opportunistic player. When Jackson sees an alley-oop opportunity, he doesn't pass it up. McCullum outside. Jackson against Williamson. Here's McCullum. Oh, and he got fouled on his head. Orleans takes this one 